So the first step of this installation is to put the axle adapter inserts into the all axle motor. So these are held in place just with a simple rubber O-ring that gives it a nice uh, friction fit so you can just push it in by hand and they won't fall out. And this is now converting the 20 millimeter opening to a 15 millimeter so we can double check that the spindle fits perfectly inside it. Um, and so the next step is simply to mount this inside the fork like you would any hub. The only detail to pay attention to is you want to make sure that the torque arm is pointing up on the right side of the fork and the cable exits are coming down on the other side of the fork. Um, as you put it in, obviously you need to align the disc rotor, but then it should simply pop right into the opening of the fork and then the axle spindle will just slide right through. Perfect. Now before we tighten this up completely, we're going to want to uh, position the torque arm um, where we're going to have it for the fork clamp that holds it into place. So the system that we have in place here for securing the torque arm to the blade of the fork is a frame clamp. Um, so this is a CNC aluminum uh, piece of hardware that attaches to the fork blade with a pair of hose clamps. And what we want to do is line up the slot in the frame clamp with the slot in the torque arm. Now in some forks, these will be close enough together that you'll be able to bolt them together directly. Um, on this particular fork, you can see that there's a fair bit of a gap between the arm and the frame clamp. So we're going to install some spaces there between the bolt. Uh, having it slotted like this means that when we're removing the wheel, if we need to flex a flat or replace a tire, we don't actually have to fully remove anything. We can just loosen the bolt that holds it, and then the wheel will be able to slide down and out of the fork without actually taking off the frame clamp or undoing the hardware completely. The first step we're going to do is installing the frame clamp with the hose clamps. If you don't want the hose clamps to look like hose clamps on your bike, we provide a pair of uh, some sleeves of heat shrink tubing that you can slide over the band. Uh, not only does this hide the reflective stainless steel to make them look a bit more discreet. Um, it also protects the fork itself from getting chafed or having the paint scrape off. And if you do it just right, when you tighten up the hose clamps, the back end, or the tail end of the hose clamp that goes through will actually tuck inside the heat shrink sleeving itself so you don't get that band sticking out as well. Um, so let's put a pair of these on. Okay, so now we're going to uh, insert the spacer inside here and then just get the exact alignment of the torque arm to the clamp so the bolt sits right through it. So we have a few different spacer widths depending on exactly what your uh, fork geometry is like. Um, it doesn't need to be a perfect match. There's a fair bit of compliance for that to compress inwards. Um, I prefer to have the um, outside of the bolt on the clamp and then have the nut on the torque arm. So I'll line that up and now I would put the nylon nut here. Um, perfect. And then I'm just going to go get an Allen key and a wrench to tighten that. Okay, so only after you've tightened those two pieces should you then secure the hose clamps. Um, otherwise, as you tighten the hose clamps, it would tend to dislodge the frame piece a little bit. So that's all there is to it. The whole process, whether you have a normal quick release fork, one of the other through axle varieties is really no different. Um, and you can see how simple and straightforward a hub motor install is with our all axle system. Right.